All right, so let's jump into figuring out how do we build this? How do we write the CSS to make this effect happen? So as we hover over it or open it, the background color changes. Um, pretty simple, actually. We just need to think about it in three different components, okay? So the first is the hover state. So as we hover over each one of these items, we want the background to change. So we need some code for the hover state. And then we need some code for the active state. Notice whether I'm hovering over or not, this item, if it's open, it's also going to be different. The background is still gray. And then we actually need to change, we need to add some spacing things in here to just make it look a little nicer and keep the alignment, like our, our text here, aligned with this. Um, so that's all we need to do. So those are the three things. We need to change the default sort of positioning. We need to add a hover state change and an active state change. So when our accordion item is open. So here is the code for that. That's something else. Here is the code for that. Here's our CSS. So I've wrapped everything in our accordion items container. That's what we're, that's the top level element we're selecting. And then within it, we have two variables that you can adjust however you want. And then we have our default. So this is the default state. We're changing for each accordion item, that's each one of these right here, we're changing the horizontal margin. So we're pulling it out negative 17 pixels. And then on the inside, for we're targeting every single direct descendant, direct child of our accordion items, we're adding some padding, some internal spacing in there. So positive 17, negative, positive. And then here is our hover state code. So first we're changing the background of the accordion item as we hover over it. And then we're also changing the color of the button text if we so choose as we hover over it. Then the same thing with our active state. So active, this is when it is open. So when our accordion is open, this data attribute is added, data is open equals true. So we're targeting our accordion item when this is present, when this data attribute is present. And we're also just changing the background and we're changing the color, the text color of our button and our accordion item dropdown. So let's copy all of this code and then let's just paste it into the custom CSS area of our website. And now you can see these lines sort of popped out a little bit, but the alignment of this text is right where we need it and it works. So you wanna change any of the colors, you can change it here and make it a little darker by maybe like 50% opacity and maybe change the text color to, to white. So maybe we change it even darker. So there we go. So now the text and color changes as we hover over it. So that's, it's, it's a fun little effect. And so this is what I was meaning about the defaults. Let me just show you real quick. If you get rid of this, delete that code, you see, it's sort of like right up against the edge. This is the good alignment for the default, the way Squarespace had it. But with this extra code, we need to sort of pull out the margins and then push in the content. And so that's what this does. Gives it a little bit you know, more aligned. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and keep building.